Kia ora e hoa. I've been waiting for you. I've got a lovely book all about Birdie. This is Birdie here. It's called Birdie Lights Up the World. It's by Alison McLennan and the illustrations are by Lauren Mullinder. Have you got a special talent? Birdie does. Would you like to find out about Birdie's talent? I'll snuggle down and let's begin. Birdie was the chosen one. It was her job to light up the world. Wow. Every evening at sunset, Birdie would sing to the sky. Her song would coax one light to twinkle and then another, until the biggest one of all lit up and the sky was aflame. That's a special job, isn't it? The whole zoo depended on Birdie, which made her feel special. But it was also a very great responsibility. Without her singing, the world would fall into darkness. Birdie didn't know why this was so. It just was. Until it wasn't. One day, Birdie woke up feeling very poorly. Her feathers felt clammy, her teeth were chattery, and her throat felt as though it were clogged with dry seaweed. <laughs> Poor old Birdie. As the day wore on, Birdie had trouble speaking. Before long, her voice disappeared altogether. How could she possibly sing the sky alight? Don't worry, Birdie, said her friends. Your voice will come back in time. But Birdie wasn't so sure. Hmm, <laughs> poor old Birdie. Look at how her friends are looking out for her. What does Elephant have? Some honey. It looks like Giraffe has got a thermometer. And this wee one here is putting a scarf around Birdie's neck. What lovely friends. When the rest of the animals found out what was happening, panic quickly set in. But it's almost time, they chattered. What will we do? They squeaked and shrieked. Birdie was the chosen one. Without her singing, they would be left in darkness. Crikey, they are in a panic, aren't they? As the sun set, Birdie tried so hard to sing, but not a peep would come out. The animals held their breath. <gasps> And then something truly strange happened. A light twinkled on, and then another, until the biggest one of all lit up and the whole sky was aflame. Without her. The lights went on without Birdie. The animals were shocked and confused. But no one more than Birdie. She had always believed the world needed her singing. Had that never been true? Oh, look at Birdie. How do you think she's feeling? Sad. Hmm, sad and confused. With her job gone, Birdie needed to find another way to make herself useful. But what could be as important as turning the lights on every night? She asked Elephant if she could help with his tree trunks. But without tusks, it was very tricky. <laughs> She's pushing! Look at Elephant's big tusks.
Giraffe showed Birdie how to collect acacia leaves, but she was only tall enough to find the ones already on the ground. How's Giraffe getting the acacia leaves? With his... tongue. Wow. The monkeys invited Birdie to learn all about their job. But after a whole week of watching them, she couldn't explain exactly what that was. <laughs> Look at those crazy monkeys. Birdie was about to give up on ever finding her purpose. Until one evening at sunset, she noticed how sad the animals looked. The sky lighting up just isn't the same without your singing, said Giraffe. Everyone misses your beautiful song, said Elephant. The monkeys looked at her expectantly. So Birdie gathered up all her courage and began to sing. Softly at first, and then loud enough for everyone to hear. When she was finished, the whole zoo applauded. And Birdie realised it was still her job. To light up the world. And that's the end of the story. What a special job Birdie had. Singing to welcome the lights at night. I don't know if that's a real job, but it's a very special one. I'd like a job like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> if you'd like to find out more about this book, you can visit ekbooks.org. And if you'd like another story, you can either watch some more in this playlist or come and visit me again soon. I love it when you come to visit. Ka kite. Goodbye, my friend.